Hey, thanks for joining me. I'm Brandon, and today's video is another DIY install video with Sandra Johnson. Now this time it is a battery only install. If you wanna see about how to switch out your inverter as well as upgrade to a Lithionics 320, I'll put that video right there. But today's video is just a simple swap out showing you how easy it is, how DIY this is. If you wanna upgrade your batteries in your leisure travel van to a Lithionics 320 amp hour battery. Now, uh, Sandra was so kind to swap out the batteries out of my friend Lori Raby's LTV. If you've been watching his channel, you know Lori Raby because I've done several interviews with her. She's a solo female traveler, an awesome story. She's traveling around the country several times now in her leisure travel van. Now, if you wanna jump right over to the install, I'll put the chapter and links down below where you can just jump over and watch how Sandra teaches you how to swap those batteries out. But for those of you wondering why Lori is giving up her Dragonfly lithium batteries that came with her LTV, well, I say came with them. She, that was an upgrade she paid for. AGMs are the factory standard option. I just want to go into a little bit about why upgrading to a Lithionics 320 amp hour battery is a game changer when it comes to RVing. So in leisure travel vans, the footprint is really, really small, right? They're small RVs and the battery bay are small little battery banks, right? And so leisure designs them to fit two traditional size, either AGM or, or lithium batteries. Well, the 320 fits even smaller in there than those batteries. AGM, you only have 50% capacity in those things. Keep that in mind. So if you have two 100 amp hour AGM batteries, you only have 100 amp hours of usable battery. So basically like one lithium battery. Well, if you get the Dragonflies, you're going to pay over $4,000 and you're going to get two 100 amp hour lithium batteries. Now that gives you basically close to 200, you know, amp hour lithium. You can use most battery capacity in those things. You got to leave a little bit in there, but you basically have 95% or so of your battery capacity, right? Well, with a Lithionics 320, you have 320 amp hours compared to the 200 amp hours that you have in the factory lithium from leisure travel vans. What else does this give you? It also gives you built-in Bluetooth. No need for a smart shunt. That's about a $150 option. You gotta get back in there and install that thing, right? And the, with the Lithionics, just pull up your phone. The app will tell you exactly what's going on with your battery, including state of charge, how many amps in, how many amps out, all of the stuff that you need to know. The heater is also automatic, no switch, like the Leisure Travel Van Lithiums, right? They've got an interior switch that if it gets below 32 degrees, you gotta remember to turn that switch on or else you can damage those batteries. Lithionics, it's automatic, dummy proof. It just automatically happens. The BMS senses the temperature and it will turn that heater on for you. Also, down the line, you wanna to upgrade to a 3000 watt inverter. You can do that with a Lithionics 320 amp hour battery. With the, the two Dragonflies, you cannot. Battleborn Dragonfly says you need a minimum of three 100 amp hour batteries in order to use a 3000 watt inverter. And the only reason you want a 3000 watt inverter really is to run your air conditioner off of your batteries. That doesn't interest you, you just want that added capacity, the added features in Lithionics, then this is the video for you. Simple swap out, super simple to do. And so I just wanna thank uh, my friend uh, Gary Oster who did the filming. Brian Duffy, who picked up the battery at Lithionics factory to take up to the uh, LTV Florida uh, rally, um, where Sandra could perform this install on Lori's coach, uh, as well as Sandra for doing the install. So let's jump over and watch as Sandra totally transforms Lori's coach into a 320 amp hour powerhouse. So today, we're with the world famous LTV, Empress of Electricity, and she's installing, guess what? That big old boy there. The Onyx 320, we're putting it, we're taking this and putting it in the step box of a 2021 Unity. Uh, what floor plan, Murphy bed? Murphy bed. And this is, this is the, 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 the soup, the queen bee. She's known as the queen bee, but her owner is, everyone knows, Lori Raby. Hey, Lori. Hey. All right. All right, so you gotta remove your bottom step cover. I'm sorry for all the Mexican sand. Okay, and then you're gonna take the bottom step cover off. Okay. Remove the bottom step cover. Okay. 
then the top step cover. Well, let's take a look in there. So what do you got two uh Well, this is the negative to the coach. So we're going to be reusing that with the Lithionics battery. We won't be reusing this. This is the Sterling DC to DC charger uh, temperature sensor. We won't be reusing that with a Lithionics battery. Now this is the coach positive and it's hot. So we want to put something over to protect it so it's not going to come in contact with anything metal until we're ready to deal with it. As you can see, it's tapered head, as Sandy says. Right. And the reason why we're replacing this is because this is the center of your step frame. And so you want, you know, you want that same stability, or, you know, same uh, secure mounting of the step. Yeah. So the positive terminal for the lithionics is going to be over here. So I need to turn this so the cable points this way. <laughs> So we're just going to loosen it. And that's fine to move everything around. And then just retighten it. Lithionics gives you these handy dandy little battery terminal covers. So we first hook the positive up. So I'm going to push this down. I'm very careful with this because this is still positively charged and I don't want to touch anything metal. this snap this securely into place negative Okay, so now we're ready to put the battery back in. And sometimes you have to tip it forward a little bit to get the dip and tip. <laughs> yeah. To get the terminals past that lip. And then it slides in place. Now, did we uh, see the pool noodle because we don't have the black foam that came with the battery? And we're putting them in the side. 
to keep the battery from, you know, bumping around. So this is basically... And you got swimmies if you a, go to the pool. An impromptu bat battery bumpers. What we're going to do is we're going to turn the battery on. Here's this little convenient on-off button. You just press it and shazam, it's on. <laughs> we're done. <laughs> so Lori, Lori's now on her phone. Downloading the Lithiatix app. Yeah, Lithiatix battery. There you go. Yep. Install. Doink. Allow. Cha ching. Yeah. What do you got? Ninety nine percent. Yay. And that's true. Yep. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's very okay. accurate. That's your true voltage. Wow. That's your current amperage, nothing. Yeah. 